And it was a pretty good day for an inside event, just like the Comic-Con hosted at the Cavelli Center. WKBN 27 News reporter Brianna Ray Turner talked with some people at the event to explain the real meaning behind Comic-Con. She joins us live in the studio with that story new at 6. I talked with a comic artist and a cosplayer today at the Comic-Con event, and they say Comic-Con is more than just a costume. Instead, it is a way to express yourself with no limitations. It's, it's so fun to bring these characters to life and be, to become them. Rachel Meikle has a passion for cosplaying. Today, she dressed up as Sleeping Beauty and added a unique feature to the dress. I just, I grew up watching Disney Princess movies, and I just, I love this character, and so I just wanted to kind of add my own twist. When I asked Miko who her favorite princess was, she couldn't choose because she said she loves them all. Now, th yeah, this one is a tough one for me. It just depends on what day of the week we are for my for my favorite princess. Miko says she has a connection to these characters. You know, so, some of these characters and stuff like that. You know, they go through their their challenges and you know some things that would just break them down, and they overcome it. You know, and that's something that's very relatable for you know me as a, as a human. Meikle says coming to Comic-Con is all about expressing who you are through these characters, which comes with creativity. She says some costumes take a while to create, but the best feeling is the reaction of others. You're going to get that, that reaction of like, yes, you know, you, you're a fellow nerd with me. I see what you did there. And, you know, that, that's amazing. I love it. But Daryl Banks didn't wear a costume, just brought his pencil and a sketch pad. I'm mainly known for my comic book work, particularly for DC Comics. I co-created the character Kyle Rayner, the Green Lantern, and uh, sort of like my claim to fame, I like to believe. Banks says comic books had a huge impact in his life when he was younger and wants to make an impact on others. Comic books also in inspire literacy uh, because there was a lot of words I encountered as I was reading comics that I didn't know, so I'd have to look them up in the dictionary or ask an adult what it meant. Banks says if he had to give one piece of advice to inspiring artists, it would be... Anything that's difficult, if you persevere through it, somebody else is going to be inspired by that. This was the last day for the event this year, but Banks says if you ever thought about coming, you should, because you'll be surrounded with kindred spirits and people who just have a passion for comics. Live in the studio, Brianna Ray Turner, WKBN 27 First News.